Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Emmerdale's Layla Harding, Roxy Shahidi, and Victoria Subden rivalry has been simmering for a time. And in Tuesday's episode, things got violent when Layla pushed her rival too far. Wendy had heard about Victoria's previous problems and had took her out for the day. Although it was Victoria's initiative to end their relationship, she did so out of concern that he would forfeit his chances for the future in order to be with her. After she discovered shards of glass in a pizza she had baked at the hide, she was fired from her position. She is unaware that Jai Crispison, acting on orders from Eric Pollard, Chris Chittle, left the glass there in retaliation for Victoria shattering Jacob's heart. Wendy reasoned that her companion might feel better if they spent some time away from the village and had a bottomless breakfast, so they left. Layla, in the meantime, had been attempting to plan her son's future. She had spoken with his institution over the phone and learned that the offer of a placement in Berlin was still available, but Jacob thought otherwise. He told his mother he was thinking of taking a break from his studies. He hoped there was a chance he and Victoria may reconcile because he felt uncomfortable on the course and with the majority of his classmates. Layla was so enraged by this that she marched over to confront Wendy and Victoria as soon as she saw them returning to the town. She informed a rather inebriated Victoria that Jacob was considering postponing his education in order to reunite with her. Layla advised Victoria to simply raise the potential that she might end up back with Jacob, even though Victoria stated she had no intention of doing so. You're repulsive, Layla remarked. You pursued his father first, and when that failed, you simply moved on to him. I was right all along about you. Then Layla spoke the most dehumanizing thing she could have imagined. You're equally evil as Maya. Maya Stepney was once the girlfriend of David. She was also raising Jacob, who was 15 at the time, while she was dating David. When he was 16, she began having intercourse with him. She mistreated Jacob for months while attempting to portray their connection as consensual. At last, she was taken into custody. Although Victoria and Maya were formerly romantically involved, there is definitely no comparison between the two circumstances. Therefore, Victoria was justifiably enraged and struck Leela hard in the face. Do you want to learn surprising EastEnders spoilers first? From Coronation Street, who is departing? The most recent rumors from Emmerdale? To ensure you never miss a storyline again, Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the most recent developments and current news directly to your phone. To gain access to spoiler pictures, must-watch videos, and exclusive interviews, sign up for the Metro Soap's WhatsApp community. You only need to click this link, choose Join Chat, and you're in. Remember to enable alerts so you may be informed when we've published new spoilers. Victoria received a call later from Emmerdale's top cop, PC Swirling, Andy Moore, who detained her on suspicion of serious assault. It was expected that Layla would not overlook it. Layla watched as Victoria was led outside to a waiting police car. It's unclear how Jacob will respond to learning about this occurrence. Will he believe that Victoria was the one who was harmed, or will he support Layla as she tends to her damaged face? Could the outcome be the reverse of what Layla had hoped for? The most recent ITV soap opera spoilers indicate that Emmerdale will feature a week filled with romance and heartbreak in the upcoming weeks. Bell Dingle from Emmerdale is shocked to find Vinny Dingle bruised after Tom King attacked him at the scrapyard the previous week. She chooses to stay and take care of him. But Tom, who's envious of Bell's bond with Vinny, manages to deliberately disparage him. Later on, Bell starts to suspect that Tom is hiding something from her when she observes that Tom and Vinny appear to be getting along. Tom quickly makes it clear that he enjoys playing matchmaker and wants to assist Vinny in finding a girlfriend. As a possible match for Vinny, he sets his sights on Gabby, but Belle finds it awkward when Tom enjoys spending time with her. Marlon Dingle is shocked to receive an unexpected visit from Gus Malcolms. In the event that his sentence is shortened, 
He tells Mary Goskirk and Marlin that they will still be involved in Ivy's life. Marlin, though, finds it difficult to believe Gus when he says that. At home, Rona Goskirk and Marlin talk about Gus's impending sentence and express gratitude Later, when for Rona gives time. Ivy to Gus, she is still unintelligible. They commit to giving the child first priority from now on. The day after, Rona is nervous about Gus's court date for sentencing. Rona seems worried and thoughtful, despite Marlin's best efforts to soothe her. Sarah Sugden is forced to assist Kane Dingle at the garage when he needs it. Even though she is upset, Sarah starts working. While Sarah is working on a handsome customer's automobile, she becomes intrigued, which causes sparks to fly and leaves Kane perplexed. Who is this enigmatic client that Sarah seems to be drawn to, and should a guarded Kane be worried? Billy Fletcher is resuming his physical therapy and fitness business, but because of the issues he and Don Taylor are dealing with, things aren't going well at first. Manpreet Sharma discovers she has feelings for Billy during his classes. Billy is too preoccupied with his own love problems to notice Manpreet's flirtations when he is training her. In scenes that have yet to appear, would Manpreet, who is currently in a relationship of her own, make a move on Billy? Sam Hall has portrayed Samson Dingle in the ITV soap opera Emmerdale since 2009. The character was first introduced in 2006. Being the father of Esther has been difficult for the character to handle during the last few years. Due to his employment with Lydia's perpetrator, Craig, he was also thrust into the center of her rape narrative. However, rumors are now circulating that the character would die in an upcoming narrative. In 2006, Samson Dingle was born as a result of his mother Alice's early labor. Unfortunately, Alice passed away from cancer soon after. Thus, Samson was never able to grow up with his mother by his side. Now a teenager in 2022, Samson's plans to go out and study were shattered when he learned he was Amelia Spencer's baby's father. After Esther's birth, Samson made every effort to remove her from his life. In an attempt to have social services remove the child, he even called Amelia. Samson also managed to obtain funds from Noah, Amelia's lover, using blackmail. Samson participated in Lydia's rape narrative in previous tales and gained work experience with Craig. Now, if recent stories are to be believed, Samson's time in the Dales may be coming to an extremely terrible conclusion. Actor Sam Hall reportedly learned lately that his character Samson Dingle will not be returning, according to The Sun. Sam's managers revealed the news to him during a meeting earlier this month, according to a source who spoke with the newspaper. He's in complete shock. His on-screen Dingle family has raised him, and they all take great care of him. There won't be a way back for him either, given that they intend to kill him off. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.